There's been a lot of weird videos on this channel lately, but for a change here is a video about just hard climbing. In fact, I can't even remember last time I had to try this hard. There's one 8A+, plus, one 70 plus. I haven't even been close to doing. Um, so I'm gonna try those today. Marta, you're gonna try a 6C, right? Yeah, I feel like the reason why I can try it is because it's a boulder that really fits me. Mm -hmm. But besides that, uh, I'm not a 6C <laughs> climber yet. So. It has small holes and short moves. Yeah. So that really suits you, but mm -hmm. you're gonna skip the 6B plus grade if you do it. If I do it, if I do it. Before we start today's video, I want to quickly announce today's sponsor. Once again, Raycon. These are the everyday E25 earbuds. They are the best ones yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass. They have a compact, nice design, a noise isolating fit, and uh, they come in a lot of different gold colors. This is my favorite color, blue but sometimes they're almost white because of all the chalk. So the compact carrying case can charge the earbuds up to four times on a single charge. <laughs> they're just as good as all the other premium brands that you guys know, just they're way cheaper. So all you have to do is go to the link in the description or you go to buyraycon.com forward slash magnet and uh, you get 15% off. I think I'm gonna start with uh, Slab of the Week. Yeah. Mix it up a little bit. We always do it at the end. I mean, I've never done the slab over the week, but uh, you always do it at the I end. I say of we. The... But... <laughs> yeah, well, that sounds good. And we're just gonna climb as much as we can today. Yeah, only yeah. climbing today. Nice. I've or not seen that in the comments that people miss just climbing. Yeah. And maybe when Corona is over, we should definitely go for like a proper climbing trip outside at some point. You first need to uh, learn how to belay. Yeah, that's true, but... <laughs> you still don't have your belay. In Norway, we have this thing called uh, steep card. <laughs> steep card! Bratkopf. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, um, that's gonna be so nice, because then we can actually go on climbing trips and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not to laugh, but I don't even warm up for this. No warming up. I think that one is like a warm up. Like you were doing some quick step dance on top of that. This is not a good start. I think that's why we always do it at the end. The thing is like you feel so stiff in the beginning of the session, but mm -hmm. the ones upstairs though, I think should suit me pretty well, but I have been chanceless at both of them. Yeah. It's so slippery. You got this? Nice. Yay! I think that means good luck though, when you mess up the first bowler like that. You think that means good luck? Yes. I was gonna say the opposite, but the, or I'm just I'm no. But since you at least it was good that you finished it, I think. You gonna try as well? I mean, I can just try just to see how difficult it is. Obviously, I'm not gonna make it, but... Uh... <laughs> not with that attitude. <laughs> You're really good at making me try the harder ones just to feel the difficulty. Because if you spend a little bit of time trying like a 7A and then when you go back to 
Six B, that seems like nothing. Mm -hmm. I agree. Also, sometimes I try to think that um, a boulder has a has an easier grade than it actually has. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that helps. Yeah. Yes. Now just trust your left foot and lean over. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. I can try one more time and then. I mean, just establishing is not that easy. Come on. Nice. Oh, I just fall off. Oh well. A bit too hard, maybe. Six C is more your level now. Six C. Let's see about that. Actually, after trying to do this boulder, I had a dream about it. <laughs> it's always a good sign when you have a dream of a boulder. <laughs> because, yeah, you, that you means that you care. Yeah. yeah. Nice, come on. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, easy. Come on. Nice. Come on, Mata. Come on, get the foot up. Nice. Oh. 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 <laughs> Cruised it. Oh, I never got this far. <laughs> so, and last time I tried, I tried to do it in rental shoes. Yeah, that makes a difference. Yeah, huge difference now when I put these on. Oh, I got so much adrenaline right now. Now you just need to make sure you rest enough yeah. and then you try it again. Don't yeah. rush it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so not to make any excuses before starting, but I've been training for the first time in my life. Well, not first time in my life, but I've started training a little bit of legs. I've even done a couple of sessions of like squats and stuff. And that's because I'm doing a Norwegian TV show called uh, Master as Master. Like the, the champion of the champion. Champion of the champion. <laughs> it's with the retired athletes from a lot of different sports competing against each other. And it's a very big TV show in Norway. I think it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest TV show. Yeah. I think most of the disciplines will be with legs and I know I have some really hard competitors. There's like a very good downhill skier, uh, Oxelund Svindal, I guess a lot of you have heard of him. So I don't know, I just try to be as diverse as I can be. For that I've gained a little bit of muscle in my legs. Uh, they're not chicken legs anymore, they're more like turkey legs. <laughs> <laughs> this bowler, the blue one I'm about to try, is also a really hard 70 plus. It should be my style and I still have no chance of doing it. I've tried it two sessions now without yeah. doing it. When you tried last time, Magnus was like slamming the, the walls and he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I got pretty mad. Yeah. And the black one is 8A plus and that's even harder. It's, for me, it feels impossible. So yeah. these are definitely the hardest bowler problems uh, that have been set in this gym for as long as I can remember, actually. further than you got last time when you tried it. I don't even know how to do this, I have no idea. I'm just trying to, I don't know, figure out why I feel so weak. Whether this is just really hard for the grade or if it's me being out of shape. I guess, like in most cases, it's a combination of both. Right now it feels pretty hectic with like having to record, having to train for the TV show and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. on top of all that, we're actually moving from one apartment to another. Yeah, Magnus just sold this apartment and bought yeah. a new one? I sold my old apartment and buying a new one, a bigger one. You know what we've been doing lately actually? We've done even like stuff like the beep test. Do you guys know what the beep test is? I actually, it's torture. Yeah. It's I saw <laughs> it's a comment about I, uh, about uh, like, oh, you guys should try the beep test. And that's where we got the inspiration from. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> thank you yeah, for that. Yeah, it's actually the most boring thing ever to film. Otherwise it would have been fun to film one of our beep tests, but 
it's just running back and forth. And <laughs> if people are interested, maybe we can do it at the end of a session sometime. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to see the beep test, comment below. <laughs> we might include it in a future video. Honestly, it seemed like you were just more surprised that you did that move because you've been trying that move many times. Yeah, Magnus actually had to climb onto the wall and hold my back as I tried that exact move where yeah. I put my right uh, foot out here yeah. to, this, to this hold. I don't know if you can see it, but the hold is really, really bad. So, and uh, there were also like big holds in front of it. So I thought it was kind of hard to like, yeah, last session we had was like yeah. two days ago and I remember I said to you, no, you keep trying it, try it one last time, just that move so that you have it dialed for the video. Now you've gotten a lot stronger at that move just because you tried it a bunch of times. That's true. Come out. Nice. Okay, now I'm just gonna stop whining and just do it. <laughs> whining about my heavy legs. I mean, it felt impossible a couple of days ago. It looked really fancy though, all the yeah, spinning it's, around. <laughs> it's like a mini route, this one. Yeah. And I still think it's like the hardest 70 plus I've done in this gym. Now afterwards, I'm gonna try the 8 day plus, mm -hmm. and that feels completely impossible. Ugh. But I don't know, now I feel, I mean, honestly, I feel a lot stronger today than I did mm -hmm. last session we had like two days ago, so maybe. I mean, it's fun to see me fail. I agree. Oh no, <laughs> but no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I agree. <laughs> too often, I'm just like trying boulders that are too easy, and I mean, it's not interesting to watch, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, okay. Should I try the 6C once again? Yeah. Is there anything you can do not to stress as much? Because this time it seemed like you wanted it almost too much. Yeah, I agree. It's yours. Come on. Yeah, come on. No, no. I can't even remember what I did the first time. I just, I think I just need to go again very quick after and not. Yeah, just take 30 seconds more and just go again. Yeah, like I was excited the first time I tried it now today, but I wasn't that stressed because I just figured I'm not going to make it. And now I think I'm stressing a lot since I made it so far the first time. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 come on. Nice. Get the other foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Come on. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. C. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think it's more of a six B plus. Even if it's only six, I'm not saying it is. I think it really suits your style. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I have small hands, so it's easier for me to use <laughs> smaller holds. Yeah. And they're just normal, normal holds. Yeah. Normal holds for a normal girl. I was gonna say that I can't imagine how it is. Like when you climbed uh, your 9B. 
Yeah, or just any, not even just that. I remember, you know, my first 7B, that was probably when I was my happiest. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter what grade, because as you get higher, like yeah, grade-wise, you have also higher expectations. The longer you worked on a route or a boulder, the more satisfying it is, as always. This thing took you like, you had like, one or two working sessions. Two working sessions. But very small working sessions. Yeah. But you can imagine if you've had like 60, mm -hmm. then it's just like, it's just like a weight that's lifted off your shoulders. It's amazing. Yeah, I just, I would, I definitely think I would cry if I, yeah, <laughs> if, I if I tried to do a route or something like that. Yeah, a lot outside. of people cry. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever cry? No. <laughs> you didn't? But especially outside. I mean, inside you do it more for training. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously it's fun if you do a new grade and stuff, but mm -hmm. outside you know that the boulder or the route is going to be there forever. And I always thought it was also more satisfying doing a route than a boulder. And I think that's why I've always been attracted more to roots, even though I probably have more like the body of a boulder. Okay. When I started competition climbing, bouldering competitions wasn't really a thing. Yeah. Um, so the only, like I was really attracted to competition climbing in the beginning and the only type of competition climbing that existed when I started was lead climbing. And I think that's why I got so obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. And I never really thought of switching to bouldering even though maybe it would have suited me better, I don't know. Ready to try hard. This is probably going to be the hardest I've tried in a while. This black one is, it has a really hard second move. So you have to hit that first crimp precisely and then make a weird heel hook and then that second move i have no idea how to do it even oh. <laughs> sorry Beep. excuse my language Beep. oh but that was really good <laughs> For everyone watching, that's probably gonna be like, yeah, what the and Also, this is the first time you did more than one move. Is that? Yes. Oh, okay. So is that... Are you trying to diss me now? No, no, now no. Now that you did a 6C and no. it was like, <laughs> I'll try the last part so you can, you guys can see how hard that is. And then I'll try to link the whole thing. Yeah. But just, uh, I mean, I haven't done the last moves either. I've done like four of the moves on this bowler. And like doing that after doing the beginning, yeah, it's gonna be so hard. Oof, really hard bowling. <laughs> I was a little burp. Did you hear it? Yeah. That was the salad we ate earlier, and the salmon, the Norwegian salmon. This middle part here, I haven't done either, but. I think I'm just gonna start trying it from the beginning. Yeah. And then. How many tries are you gonna give it until? I don't know. I never really decide that beforehand. Mm -hmm. Just go with the flow, see how I feel. try to shut up while you're climbing because <laughs> but I really want to like scream while you're <laughs> yeah, that's not fair though because I always try, like I'm like oh come on come on you can do it you come on yeah 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 I always say that when you're climbing <laughs> the first time I looked at this bowler I just looked at all these like bake holds and oh it doesn't look so bad but like these are only for your feet oh okay only jamming for your feet so you don't use those for your hands at all there's nothing oh jeez
It's so awkward to move your foot around. Oh, that is so much fun though. It's, <laughs> it's been a while since I found a bowler that was like so, uh, like close to the limit. Yeah. So the next video is actually gonna be not from this gym, but from the new gym in Kristiansand. Remember I made a video there before, the, uh, before we actually started building the gym. It's a perfect building for a climbing gym. And they're really hard to come by in our way. Right now they're like blue and green and red lights. We're gonna change that. I've seen pictures of the new wall and everything and it looks amazing. Probably don't have that many attempts in me, so it's now or never. Is that left foot every time. You can even see it on my... <sighs> it looked like you climbed the first part very fast this time. Yeah. I know exactly what to do, so I just speed through it. Tell me a nice story or sing me a nice song, Marta. I don't know, I felt so much weaker at the first two moves now. You are getting tired though, probably. Maybe I should sing a song again. <laughs> okay. It's just been like hard climbing this vlog. To be like just completely honest with you guys, it's just, it's hard to find a good thumbnail and title for a video like this. Like with a Wim Hof method and stuff like that, it's, it's easy to, to make a like good title and thumbnail that people will actually click on. But this is just like, oh, it's another video of me climbing, you know, or of us yeah. climbing. So it's, that's, but these are, I mean, honestly, I enjoy doing this so much more than most of all the other videos that we make. Actually, maybe it's not so hard. Maybe I'm just in bad shape. I go back and forth. Like one second, I think, oh, this is really hard. I must be pretty strong. And then the other second, I'm like, you know what, it's probably just that I'm out of climbing shape. It's like when you take a longer break like this, you just feel a little bit like sore again. I think I have to give up, honestly. I'm just getting worse and worse, so. <sighs> Not one more time. Oh, it's over. I mean, that was the most fun session I've had in a while. Yeah. Even though it's disappointing not to send uh, the bowler. This is what makes you stronger. <laughs> That's true. Whoa. Pain is temporary. <laughs> Fitness is forever, is that the <laughs> phrase? Uh, that's the phrase, but that's so <laughs> not true. That fitness is forever. But. Yeah. Uh, I hope you still in, enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, even though I didn't do this bowler, but Mufta <laughs> did her hardest bowler, so you should definitely give it a thumbs up for that. You that did was really it. That was really impressive. Honestly, doing 60, now you're at a pretty high level already.
I still have a goal of reaching a million subscribers by the end of the year. I know it's probably not gonna happen, but it would really mean a lot to me if you consider subscribing if you're not already. Also, please turn on post notifications, that way you are sure not to miss another one of my videos. Check out Marta on Instagram, she's now a 6 climber. <laughs> we'll see you next time.